Hi you guys, welcome to Healthfully Rooted Home. This is Kiri with the blog healthfullyroodedhome.com where I talk about clean cooking, non-toxic living, and an organized home. And today I want to talk to you about my non-toxic fall favorite. So some of these fall favorite items are specific to fall <laughs> and some are just things that I like to use all year round or some are just relevant to the colder weather months. And I will link everything down below um, with my affiliate links, which will help to save you money. Um, so I have some discounts for things down there. My First fall favorites item is the Primally Pure Soothing Cream. And the reason that I love this cream is it is so creamy. It seriously feels like clouds on my face. <laughs> it's so luxurious. It's non-toxic and it's made from just really good quality ingredients. So quality essential oils, tallow from grass-fed cows, emu oil, like really quality ingredients, completely non-toxic. And I also love that it adds just a little extra moisture to my face in the colder months. I find that in the cooler months, I need just a little bit extra hydration. Another thing I love is that I naturally have a really red complexion and actually like you can kind of see that now. And this does help to soothe that redness a little bit and just kind of help with inflammation. Okay, so I get that from Primally Pure. Again, that's their soothing cream. And I'm gonna talk about a few Primally Pure products in this video. Um, and if you want a discount, use the code HEALTHFULLYROOTED10 for 10% off and you can click the link below. Okay, next on my list is the Almond Vanilla Body Butter. So specifically the almond vanilla smells so good. Not that their other scents don't smell good. Actually, I've never tried them, but I'm sure they do. I just love almond vanilla. I am a really big fan of like warmer scents. And so the almond vanilla is so dreamy and it's non-toxic and a lot of times with like lotions and body butters and personal care products or soap or whatever it is, it smells good because there's a ton of fragrance in it. But what I love about Primally Pure is that it's non-toxic. They use natural ways to make their products smell good. And so because of that, it's not gonna like slap you in the face with its scent, but it's pretty subtle, but it still smells so good. Also, just like the face cream, it adds just more hydration to my skin, which I definitely need in those cooler months. So that is the Primally Pure Body Butter. Another Primally Pure product that I'm totally in love with right now, this is actually a newer product for me, but I think I'm really gonna like this in the colder months, is their body oil. So I use the Blue Tansy body oil and it's so nice. So you're supposed to use it like right when you get out of the shower when you're just sort of towel dried off and then while you're still damp, you put the body oil on and it helps to lock in um, your moisture in your skin. Well, it does just that and it feels so good and like kind of cooling and anyways, I love it. It um, calms down that redness. So I don't just have redness on my face, but I have redness like all over, especially when I get out of the shower. I think it's inflamed because of the heat or something, but this really helps to cool that down. So that is their Blue Tansy Body Oil. The last Primally Pure product that I'm gonna mention is their Lip Balm. Specifically, their Lavender Lip Balm is my favorite. So I know it's not good to be a chapstick user. <laughs> I've heard that it's like chapstick lip balm, it's, like one of those things where 
if you use it, you need it. And really you should like try and wean yourself off of it. And it's a sign of dehydration. Well, I know I'm not dehydrated. I drink a ridiculous amount of water, but I know that I should probably wean myself off of lip balm, but I'm just not there yet. I'm not ready. My husband gets on me all the time about it because I'm constantly like leaving my lip balms everywhere. I have one in every room of the house, in every vehicle that we have. Anyone who can get through an entire tube of chapstick should really get a reward because it's so hard to not lose those things. Well, I protect these Primally Pure lip balms like crazy. <laughs> they are so, so good. Um, and they just feel so good. Also, I've really actually wanted to get into making my own lip balm because it's super easy, but I just love the Primally Pure ones so much that I don't know if I'm going to do that. So anyways, um, they have a variety pack on their website too, which if this is like your first time getting Primally Pure lip balms, I would definitely suggest that because you get like five, like four or five different flavors. The next fall favorite is something that we use all year round, but I have to mention it in the fall uh, because it's important in the fall too, and that's our Berkey water filter. So a lot of people don't realize that just because you are not thirsty doesn't mean that you shouldn't drink water, right? So thirst is actually a delayed sign of dehydration. So it's easy to remember to drink water in the summer because it's hot out, you're probably doing things outside, you're probably actually getting thirsty. But in the fall, when it gets cooler, it's also important to stay hydrated even if you're not thirsty. So we filter our water through a Berkey water filter. We found that our water, specifically in our you know, city limits, has 11 contaminants. And these 11 contaminants, there's a whole list, I actually have it on my blog. Many of them are known carcinogens in our tap water. So we've been filtering our water for a very long time. We love the Berkey water filter, just with the research that we've done, has the best value for money. The filters last the longest. They filter out the most contaminants, all of those things. I also have a discount for a Berkey water filter in the link below, so you can check that out. But yeah, so that's a huge favorite. Also, the reason why I added our Berkey to my fall favorites is because I do a lot more baking in the fall. So bread baking, things like that, fermenting, and you want to use filtered water during the fermentation process just because the contaminants in tap water can actually ruin the fermentation process. My next fall favorite is a nude diffuser blend to me. It's from Simply Earth Essential Oils. Again, I have a link for that below. First of all, I wanna talk about this brand. I love the concept of this brand because they send you a recipe box every month and you get new oils in that box, new recipes, and they send you everything you need to make those recipes, which is so cool. But they always have a diffuser blend in their recipe boxes. And so their diffuser blend for October's box was clear the air. And it's the theme of the October box was like immunity boost, right? So these essential oils are supposed to help with boosting your immunity. So I like to put the clear the air diffuser blend in my bedroom and it makes the whole upstairs smell so fresh and so good. But I love this concept because I learn about new oils that I never would have gotten before if you know they weren't just sent to me. And so this diffuser blend is a blend of eucalyptus, fir needle, their digest blend of essential oils, and then cage put. Ooh, I don't know if I'm saying that right. But anyways, I've never heard of cage put, but I'm so super in love with it. It smells so delicious and the blend together just smells pretty incredible. All right, now also in the Simply Earth uh, recipe box that I got for fall, they gave me everything I needed to make a menthol chest rub. I love 
this chest rub because it's like a non-toxic version of Vicks Vapor Rub, which I've always loved Vicks Vapor Rub. Even when I was a kid, I just loved the way it like cleared out my nostrils and sinuses and just the way that it felt on my chest. So this is a non-toxic version of that. And I love it, even if we're not sick, it's just, it helps to prevent that, helps to open up your airways. And then another recipe that they gave me everything for in my October box was the menthol shower steamers. So these are awesome. It's just like the chest rub, but it's in the form of a little shower steamer. So you put it at the bottom of your shower and then the steam from the shower will release the oils and all of that menthol goodness. So I am loving the Calm Magnesium drink. So a couple things about this. I've actually had this for a very long time just sitting in my pantry, not being opened, not being used, and I got it actually when I was pregnant with my son because I heard that it helps with morning sickness and things like that. But when I was sick with him, I didn't want to put anything in my mouth and like nothing helped. There was no helping that. And you mamas who have had morning sickness before, you understand like none of those voodoo tricks that they say work. <laughs> um, I mean, some of them kind of take the edge off, but like if you have really bad morning sickness, nothing works. So I ended up not really using that. Since having my son, I've had really low energy. I'm also deficient in magnesium. And so I have been really loving taking this magnesium at night because it's supposed to like reduce anxiety and kind of calm you down, which I do think it does actually. But I love it. It's just a nice little nightcap and it's really good and it's good for my body. And then another note about this is that magnesium is actually best absorbed through your skin and not ingested. But when I, we have this magnesium oil, when I put that on, it makes my skin really tingly and I actually hate that feeling which is funny because if your skin tingles when you put magnesium oil on it means that you are deficient in magnesium so i'm clearly deficient in it because my skin tingles like crazy so right now i'm just ingesting it and that's the way that works for me okay now let's move on to food i just have two food items and they're the most basic <laughs> fall items ever but what would a fall favorites video be without organic pumpkin puree. So specifically organic pumpkin puree is what I'm loving right now um, from Thrive Market. I love that. So, so sometimes if you get organic pumpkin puree, it's like super thin and almost runny and that can totally ruin a recipe because most of the time when you are using pumpkin puree, you want it to kind of be thick. And so the Thrive Market organic pumpkin puree is actually really thick and really good um, but I use that in everything I've been using it in my spiced pumpkin and chorizo soup this soup was actually featured on Fox News which is awesome so that recipe is on my blog and the video is right there but I use pumpkin puree in that I'll use it in smoothies even if I have like a leftover can of pumpkin puree I'll just dump it in a smoothie just to get rid of it and get the added nutrition I add it to baked goods like my pumpkin sourdough cinnamon rolls my very last fall favorites item is pumpkin spice seasoning I love this seasoning because it gives you that pumpkin spice flavor without like all the sugary or you know chemically processed pumpkin spice syrups that you get at like coffee shops or something like that um, and I just add the seasoning to my French press coffee I'll add it to my granola recipe so I have this base granola recipe I'll add it to that I'll add it to baked goods I'll add it to everything and it just really gives you that fall 
flavor and it's so good. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, you'll probably like my video on where to begin with non-toxic living. So just click to that video after this and thanks so much for watching. My name is Kiri with the blog healthfullyrootothome.com where I talk about clean cooking, non-toxic living, and an organized home. Thank you.